This is a new home internet broadband router from Airtel and I'm surprised to see that this device is free or should I say almost free and not to talk about the fact that the unlimited plans on this device is actually cheaper compared to any other Airtel router. I've been using this device for about two weeks now and I initially planned on reviewing the device but I decided to just have to wait to and use the device for about a month or two months before actually sharing all of my experience with you guys. So this video is more like a first impression about the product. So for context, I've been using the Ether 5G router for about a year and a half month and irrespective of all of the negative reviews online, the device have actually been serving its purpose, although I have to get a backup device. So I'll be using this MTN 4G router as a backup. So basically, I actually subscribe, uh, I actually did the 9000 era subscription on this device, which is for about 60 gig, but there's a way around it where you can get 120 gig, that is double, double the data you're actually subscribing on this thing. So, I've been, so I'm subscribing on this thing for 9000 era, and the Ether 5G router actually has an unlimited plan of 20 Mbps, which cost about 30,000 era. So basically, I'm spending 39,000 era on monthly subscription just to browse the internet. So a cousin of mine came visiting, and when she was going, she took the Ether 5G router along. You know how cousins can be. So I decided to go to the Ether office to get a new Ether 5G router. So I get into their office, I saw this device sitting on their counter. And when I asked, it's actually an outdoor unit. That is, there is this device right here, which is a 5G router that will be outside, and there's another device that will be inside. So hence the name outdoor unit. So according to the agent, these have been around for about three years now, but they just actually made a newer version, which is the 5G, because it has been 4G. Now, now we have the 5G outdoor unit. So I was thinking that this outdoor unit device will cost like twice the amount of the Ether 5G router since now we are getting two different devices. But I was surprised to see that the device actually cost only 25,000 Naira. Basically, this device actually have two unlimited plans. We have the 25,000 Naira for 50 Mbps and we have the 45,000 Naira for the 100 Mbps. And I was like, 25,000 Naira for 50 Mbps. Whereas on the Ether 5G router, it is 30,000 Naira for just 20 mbps like what is the catch here and also talk about the fact that this device is literally free that means you're actually paying for the first month subscription which is twenty five thousand dollars to get this thing and then you have to get the package and the device is actually free all right so i just had to pay the twenty five thousand error and the device was registered for me just like the 5g router where you have to actually have an ether sim so that you're able to log in to the ether app and see your device and actually interact with your device from there. So I, I opened my Ether app, I logged into the Ether app, and yeah, I saw my home fiber, my new home fiber network there registered already, and it comes with unlimited plan as promised for 30 days. After paying the 25,000 error and all of the registration, I decided that okay, let me get the box and take it home to install. But the agent told me that they will have to install this for me, and installation is actually free. So basically, the following day, I got a call from an agent from Ether and saying that he's coming to install the device for me. So he just asked for the address and the way to locate my area. So and when he got here, he installed the device. So I was like, why can't they just give me the de device to install myself? Why do they have to install it for me? And not to follow the fact that this device is actually free. So that got me curious. MTN also have their own home internet, which they call the MTN Fiber X. I don't know if you guys have seen that. Basically, the MTN Fiber X is actually a cable network, so it is not available in every area, only available in selected areas. But the device is not available in my area, that's why I didn't get the MTN Fiber X. And that's so that one also cost about 25,000 Naira, which is also the same price as this. And that Fiber X is a cable network, so it should have a better network compared to this. This one is not a cable network. But also, it actually uses utilizes a cable, so a device is installed outside that get better internet, and it is connected through data cables to the one inside, and that just how the device is being set up. But for the MTN Fiber X, it's actually a cable network. That is, the cables running directly from the MTN office to your house, so the internet there should be better. And that one as well is also free. 
Only that you have to pay for the first month subscription, which is 25,000 naira, and it is also 50 Mbps, just like this Ether device. What about the Fiber X if you don't subscribe for three consecutive months? So they'll come to your house to come and collect their device back and on it and just disconnect your internet connection. Just like how Nepa just came to disconnect your lights. So that's how the the Fiber S internet looks like. So that makes me feel like this is not almost similar. So I actually went to their website to actually confirm my curiosity. So on getting to their website, I saw that the device is actually 25,000 naira as promised so, and it comes with free 50 Mbps internet for the for the first 30 days you are using the device. So this is just simply the same thing. That means you are actually getting the device for free and you are subscribing for the 50 Mbps for 25,000 naira. So I actually have to go to their FAQ page and I saw this line on it. So basically, if you don't subscribe on your ether 5g router for three consecutive months they will come back to collect it so i guess that's the reason why they they have to install it themselves just to actually get your location anytime you didn't subscribe for three months three consecutive months they are coming back to take their device so let's think about everything we are getting with this device unboxing the package we've got two routers the white one labeled 5g will be outdoors and the other one will be indoors then a data cable connecting these two devices then we've got the power adapter a battery pack that lets you power the device whenever there is no power supply an ethernet cable for a wired network connection and a sim pack because there's actually a sim in this device so let's go to the speed test i'm currently doing this test at 2 in the afternoon which is when the network in my area is mostly jammed let's go so the response time is taking longer so we would expect a larger ping and yes the initial ping is 38 ms which i don't think is too bad now we'll just wait for the upload and download speed as well as the upload and download pings ping is mostly important for gamers especially those who live stream their gameplay also know that our internet is capped at 50 mbps so we shouldn't expect any speed higher than that all right so this is the upload speed we are getting with the device and i think it's just below our data speed cap though the pings are not looking that good i'll quickly do a second test So that's the speed test results, 31 Mbps download speed and 23 Mbps upload speed and the ping test is also displayed. With this ping results, I don't think this device is for those who live stream their gameplay but if you are a casual gamer, you can definitely play games and also live stream at the same time with this device because this device is actually good but just that if you are among those that play PC games at high graphics and you also live stream those games at the same time i don't think this device is for you all right i'll do one more test here i will use my phone as an hotspot to browse on my laptop and i'll test the ether speed in my area So these are the results and that's because there is no data cap with the data subscription on my phone. But let's take a look at the pink test. The results are better with the outdoor units and that's because it has better network connection. When playing Call of Duty Mobile, my ping was between 70 and 80 ms and also when downloading maps in the game, I was getting between 5 and 80 megabytes per second. And I was able to download a 1.5 gig file in only two and a half minutes. Don't forget that my data cap is 50 Mbps. That's 50 megabits per second. Your computer stores data in megabytes, but internet speed is measured in megabits. I guess that's the best way to calculate internet speed. 8 bit is equal to 1 byte. So your 50 megabit is approximately 6.2 megabytes. That's by dividing your data speed by 8. So I shouldn't get more than 6.2 megabytes per second. But I'm seeing close to 8 megabytes per second 
but most of the times it just stays between 5 and 6 MB. I have to use Call of Duty because they have servers here in Nigeria and their server is very fast. So when downloading, if you are not experiencing the same network speed, it might, the problem might be from the server you are downloading from. When streaming on YouTube, videos play at 1080p most of the time and that's because the network is very good. I've also streamed on Netflix with this router at 1080p and I didn't experience any lag. Everybody in my house uses this router and we, have, and we can have up to 4 people connected to it at the same time and so far, I don't have much to complain about it. In my area, we get ether 5G network mostly at night and the network is not that stable. It's always, the 5G network is always on and off. You can actually check if you are getting 5G or not on the outdoor units. With what you are seeing, 5G is not on so I'm on the 4G network. As you can see, the 4G network is on, 5G is not on. And you also have other light indicators on this device like this one that lets you know if the power is on and the one that lets you know if you are getting ether services and then we have the 4G and the 5G network and this one that lets you know if the Wi-Fi on this device is working. But to be honest, I don't see the point of 5G when the unlimited plan on this device is already capped at a certain speed. Like, I tried to find errors with this device and I was able to find one which has happened to me only twice now. And this is a known issue with the Ether 5G router as well. So when I tried to connect the device via Wi-Fi, it was showing connected without internet. And this happened for like 10 minutes straight for like 10 minutes i was able to connect to the internet and it was just like as if data finished on the device but it only happened for like 10 minutes and after 10 minutes i was able to connect back to internet and i've only experienced this just only twice since using this device for like two weeks now so that's everything you have to know about this device and you can judge for yourself if this is a product you should get or not based on the way you consume data let me know in the comment section if you'll be buying this device or you think that this device is another device that is not so good i'll make a full review of this ethan 5g outdoor unit smart connect in the future so if you want to see the video, you might want to hit that subscribe button right now so you don't miss the video when I upload it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.